A Melbourne father of two has taken the term super geek to an altogether new level. He's even performed surgery on himself, all in the name of technology. From the street, this humble weatherboard looks like any other. But beyond the renovation, there lies an extraordinary story. And it all starts at the front door. This door is locked at the moment. The lock is controlled by a computer. On the wall here, I have an RFID reader. So all I have to do is move my arm past the reader. It detects that um, I have the correct code and it lets me in. Meet Jonathan Oxer and his bionic arm. Two years ago, the 37-year-old performed surgery on himself, inserting a radio frequency identification tag into his arm. The tag itself is about the size of a grain of rice, so it's quite small and that just is inserted under the skin. Jonathan's home improvement is like no other. When complete, the kitchen, letterbox, home security and watering system will all be automated. Even the bathroom lights and curtains controlled by computer. At the moment this is being controlled from my phone, but it could be done from anywhere in the house or in fact anywhere in the world. John's taken his ideas around the world, even addressing staff at Google's head office in California. So far he's knocked back offers from the techno giants, insisting he's no budding Bill Gates, just a curious, self-proclaimed geek. What I try to explain to people is that they need to look at the world as if the whole world is made of Lego. Don't just imagine it the way it is, but imagine it the way you want it to be. Luke Waters, 10 News.